To begin this video, I wanted to do like this whole cinematic. Mont Bontu, the beast of Provence. 1,912 meters of lung stripping tarmac. A soul destroying 20 kilometer ascent, only to be welcomed by a wasteland even rejected by Mother Nature. To cut a long story short, Mont Bontu is the toughest climb on the Tour de France. When this was brought to my attention, I couldn't stop seeing it. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. This is when I thought, maybe I should ride it with no training. When I started telling people this, every single one of them said it was impossible. So naturally, I had to do it. Cut to the plan. The plan. So the plan is, I hop on the bike, I ride the bike up to the summit, and I succeed. That's why they call anything easy like riding a bike. Gear. Water bottle. GoPro. Banana. Spandex. So, this is it. It's got state of the art, these kind of brakes, a seat, and this thing, a bell. 21 speed, yo. Do the thing. This is the big day where I'll be riding Bontu with zero training. It's not under ideal circumstances at all. But two days ago, I had leg day, not expecting to do it, and my legs are still so sore. Um, the GoPro is messing up on me today. We had guests, so I was up till 1am last night drinking beers and things. Last night's curry called and I answered. That's one part that France you are seriously lacking in. You need more public toilets, my friend. Whew. Um I started I started this like as a I'll just make a joke video for my family and just have a bit of fun, but now that I'm here I'm nervous <laughs> and I actually don't want to fail. And uh, it's a bit unfortunate that uh, it's not the ideal situations. And if you think that I actually did some training before this, um, I tried to get the quick release off of the mountain bike this morning and I, I couldn't do it. So I know nothing about bikes and I really don't, I don't ride. So we're coming into Malosan here. This is my, my start of my ride and you'll see that I still have quite a while to get actually to the mountain and then I need to go up. So yeah, it's gonna be nuts! <laughs> I've officially begun. My plan is in about one kilometer or so two kilometers there's like this nice little lake thing where I'm gonna stretch so I'll use the one kilometer to warm up uh, my friend said that you should have like 20 kilometers to warm up but if I do 20 kilometers there's no way I'll be able to ride up and then I'll stretch because even though it's a big I don't know it's ridiculous I still want to be able to walk tomorrow so Oh man, I've done 100 meters. I'm already feeling it. <laughs> if it looks like this road is flat, it's because it almost is. <laughs> and my, my legs are burning so bad. 
as you can see, I had to go to the toilet again. <laughs> it was like 10 minutes ago since I went to the toilet. I hope this doesn't become a thing for the rest of my ride, because that will be a nightmare. It's going to take long enough as it is. We are officially off. I think little little children will be passing me today. But I'm here to finish, not to win. Officially, I'm at the two kilometer mark, so like 10%. Oh, and that's how we know. A little two on the road. I'll put the distance and then the percentage of incline but I've run into some serious problems because of the back wheel nut my brakes are rubbing on the wheel my front one's doing the same I don't know why the front one is doing it so essentially because of friction and whatnot I'm technically doing a 90% uh, gradient it's maths look it up yeah my tires are grossly flat I'm at 3.2 kilometers. There we go. Now, I've just decided to ignore the noises coming from my bike. Otherwise, I won't be able to finish. It's so hard. I feel my hamstring, my left hamstring. Oh, it's super tight. But I've learned a few things already. If you put your seat up high, it's easier to ride when you're sitting down and for me standing up and riding is much easier because it's more like the exercises that I'm used to like running and stuff so I've been standing up but the tires are getting lower and lower so it almost feels like I'm riding on flat tires so first water stop and I'm not gonna stop <sighs> This farm he's probably got a real gun. Bonjour. I could just see the top of the mountain back there. Oh man, it is so far away. I think I have a, an incline here. That's what we want. So, positive thinking, it'll be an incline until the top of the mountain. Or I could just hang off that Porsche. Ah, if only you knew what us poor people had to put up with. Ah, damn one percenters. I'm officially past one quarter of the way. 40, 43 minutes down. Uh, there's the proof. 5.3. You see it? You see it up there? That's the goal. Oh man. hamstrings really giving me grief so I need to stretch that out because I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this it's been like 20 Porsches come past real quick hopefully there's some more so that I can show you whoop 
think I hear one. I gave them all a wave, they are not very friendly. At the beginning, well, into it, the 10% were well, like reasonable. Now the 10% feel like hell. Oh man. Halfway! Demi beurre, demi beurre! Feels good. Enjoy. I have nine kilometers left and uh Mm, this is my hell now. There's these green triangles. They're like lifesavers because you just think, I'll just reach the next triangle. And then if you have anything left in the tank, when you reach that triangle, push to the next triangle. And you just keep on doing this. Otherwise, if you stop, it's so much harder to start again. I'm actually starting to think that I'll finish this. My goal now, I really don't want to walk the bike at all. I want to actually pedal the whole way. <sighs> this is insane. I <laughs> finished my bottle of water. I only brought one bottle of water. Oh, stupid. I am the most oh, ill planned. My brain's broken. See ya. Where are you to encourage me to keep going? I need you, see ya. Never give up, no, never give up, no, no. Oh. The, st the stops are becoming more and more frequent. Oh. It's like I can only make a hundred meters without stopping. Maybe it's the uh, the oxygen, the altitude, I don't know. But I had a, a middle point in mind. Turns out it's not the middle. So right now, like, I can't wait for it to get here. Hopefully maybe I can get some water and a chocolate bar or something to give me energy. <laughs> oh, when I get there, <laughs> I need to tell you something about the, the bike and the wheel. What? Cramp coming on. Summit, six kilometers. I'm 1400 meters high. And this is where I'm going to have my break. I have one more banana left, no water left. I need to buy water. Real bad. Look at that view though, it's crazy. I just had a delicious cafe all day. I'm not sure if it was genuinely good or if I just needed it so bad. But it's the last push. I'm almost three quarters of the way there. It doesn't feel really good going downhill right now. That just means I have to go up further. It's starting to get cold, really cold. You can generally breathe steam now when you're not in the sun. Oh, so here we go. The hardest, the last push. I forgot to tell you about the bike. So, the uh, 
the nut that's missing has more repercussions than I, I thought. So the back wheel is moving from side to side, which has loosened the brakes off real bad. So on the way down, I won't have rear brakes. So that's a scary thought. But on top of that, because there's so much movement in the wheel, every time I try to get into the first gear or the seventh gear, it just pops out. So I'm essentially down to like a three speed bike. Oh. And this is when I really feel it. When I need to change gears so that I can stand up. 75% there. I feel sick. I feel literally sick. Oh. There it is. My tombstone. Oh, every time you stop, you like lose the will. You lose all of your willpower. I literally can't stop. I just passed four kilometers, so four kilometers left. But when I straighten my legs to hop off the bike, they instantly cramp. So, so I can't stop riding. I feel so sick. I think the altitude is getting to me. If the cramps stop. I'm not sure how far. They kind of leave you. They kind of leave you to it now. Like my blue triangles are gone. They only tell you the distance every one kilometer. So maybe I have about two and a half kilometers left. I'm dying, man. No comment. Like two and a half kilometers left. The oxygen, the oxygen just wrecks you, and all you want to do is go to sleep. Like right now, I just want to go to sleep, and I haven't had enough carbs today. So that's cool. I just have no energy anymore. The wheel is essentially just loose. It's just sitting on by gravity. And um, I'm down to one speed. I can't change gears because it just clicks out, and you know you, your leg slips and you lose like so much energy. I filled up my water bottle when I got coffee, but I finished that as well. So I think I've only got like 1,200 meters to go. That's wishful thinking, and every. 30 meters, 20, 30 meters I have to stop. So I'm hoping that if I have a bit more of a break here, then I can go further. Oh man, this last bit is just a nightmare. People are starting to say bravo now, so that's pretty cool. This is it, one kilometer left. <laughs> done in my life 100% so to celebrate I bought some cookies well earned cookies let's have a look at the view literally the hardest thing I've ever done in my life it was the worst, the worst. Um, 
I'm a bit worried about riding down. I have no back brakes whatsoever. Now the front wheel is making a strange noise. And look at this. Hanging on by a thread. Now I'm enjoying some hard earned cookies. And then I'll keep on heading down. So that's my story. In the end I made it, even though I thought I wasn't going to make it. Uh, I wanted to celebrate at the top of the mountain, but I just had no energy in me. I wanted to be interactive with the other people who were doing the race, but it just wasn't possible. There was a real sense of community on the whole mountain, which was really nice. Everybody's encouraging each other. Uh, when I got to the top, I want to stress that I had no energy. I was just so cold. I needed to get to the bottom of the mountain as soon as possible. Now I'm looking forward to the next challenge. Oh. By the way, mom, I think it's time that you subscribe to my channel.